time to implement our first screen that will display an array of posts. We are going to edit the list latest posts screen that we created previously and make it display the latest posts from our server. First, let's delete the dummy label that we had added. Now, let's add a grid view in our screen. Grid views are also called collection views in the iOS world. Next step is to connect this grid view with the get all posts API request. So let's press the data source icon and create a new data source. We select the Firebase Data API and then the Get All Posts API request. This request, as we said earlier, doesn't have any parameters. So let's move on to the responses. The successful response, as we can see, returns an array of posts. We select the Posts Array parameter and then we connect it to the grid view. Grid views consist of grid view cells, which you can also reuse in multiple grid views when they display the same data type. For example, you can have the same cell in a new screen called Search Posts screen. We haven't created any cells yet, so we are going to create one now. Kodika will ask us if we want to edit the cell. Press No. We are going to edit it in another video of this tutorial series. Finally, we enable the Load When View Appears, so the data source autoloads when our screen loads for the first time.